morning, Nerdfighteria. It's Monday, July 31st, the last day of Pizzamas in July, and I'm going to be reviewing the big things of Australia on a five-star scale. This is just a bunch of photos from my trip uh, to Australia where I'm going to review the large things that I saw. First off, we have the official big things. These are all things that are on the Wikipedia list of big things in Australia. We'll get to the unofficial ones later. To start off with, we have the Big Merino. It is a 15.2 meter or 50 feet tall concrete statue in the shape of a majestic merino ram. It's located in Goulburn, New South Wales. And the building that you can see on the left of the, the big ram is actually a gift shop devoted to all things wool. Um, so this on its own would get five stars, but it gets bonus points if that's even possible for the fact that right across the road out of this picture is a really good bakery. So five stars plus bonus points to the big merino. Next up, we have the big Ugg boots. These are located in the Hunter Valley region of New South Wales. The art on them is really cool, but they're not quite as big as the big merino one. That's the first big thing you see that kind of sets the standard, but I really like the art on it on the Big Ugg Boots. So the Big Ugg Boots get four stars. Next, we have the Big Golden Guitar, located in Tamworth, New South Wales. It is very tall, it is a guitar, and it is golden. It's actually like a little shiny when you see it in person. And it also has a really nice visitor center, so I'm giving this four and a half stars. The Big Pelican, located in Noosaville, Queensland, is the last of our official big things. It's just so happy looking. Look at this pelican. I actually sent a picture of it on uh, Twitter. I tweeted it at Hank because he had asked for, for pelican photos. Um, and it's just so happy looking. I love the big pelican. Five stars, hands down. <laughs> and now we're getting into the unofficial big things. This is other large stuff that I saw in Australia that I thought the, the nerds would find neat. To start off with, we have a life-size Mack truck that is made entirely out of Lego, combining multiple loves of this server into one thing. We got big vehicles, we got Legos, we got trucks, all the cool stuff. There was a truck show going on in Brisbane while I was there, and this was one of their attractions that they had at the truck show, in addition to all of the like actual working trucks. Next up, there's this koala sculpture in Brisbane, Compared to all the other big things that we saw on the official list, not quite as big, but it's it's still large. And also there's a bus cameo, and we love working public transit, so that gets uh, three and a half stars for the transit cameo. Now we have some stuff that I saw at Costco, because we learned that Costco memberships are good internationally. Uh, and I actually didn't buy, not this cake in the photo, but I did have mud cake while I was there from Costco, and it was a really good mud cake. That mud cake gets five stars. The one and a half kilo cans of Milo get three and a half stars, because I love the size, but it's not something I could really bring back from Australia. Now uh, we have some rocks. These are the Three Sisters. It's a rock formation in Katoomba, which is in New South Wales. It's in the Blue Mountains National Park. Uh, all of the eucalyptus forests on these mountains uh, give the air a sort of bluish look, which you can see in the background. But in the foreground, we have these three rock formations that are left over from the weathering on the side of the mountains. And they're really cool. They get four stars. Now we have the Australian flag at Picnic Point Toowoomba. The flagpole is 46 meters or 150 feet tall, and the base of this flagpole is approximately six feet or two meters in diameter. I used my dad in a different photo as the scale for the base of the flagpole. Uh, very large flagpole, it's actually got a light on the top of it so that airplanes don't accidentally fly into it. And speaking of airplanes, our last big thing is an Airbus A380, absolute unit of an airplane. I was astounded as we were driving past it in the shuttle bus at Sydney Airport. I don't remember if this is the actual A380 I flew on, but it is a Qantas A380 an absolute unit. Four stars because the fridge on the one that I was on broke, so we didn't have a real breakfast. And that's all of the big things. I hope you enjoyed my review of the big things of Australia. Have a great day in DFTBA.